There's nothing more haunted than something that moves of its own accord, except maybe when it jolts aggressively of its own accord. Submitted to Reddit by Nick4566, this swing in India is not child's play. Nick writes, This was seen in a well-known city of India. The park is closed since a year as a lady took her own life here long back, and the park is not used by children. Watch the swing at the beginning of the clip flinging back and forth on its own. It's a bit unnerving already, but as some in the comments point out, someone might have pushed it before the person began filming. You probably thought that yourself, but watch further. The swing slows halfway through the video only to suddenly jolt back to life. <laughs> Flinging aggressively back and forth, the leaves in the surrounding trees are barely fluttering, so none of this could be due to wind or nature. It's completely supernatural. Could the spirit of the woman who took her life still be here? And why is she swinging? We may never know. Buckle your seatbelts. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit, this video is apparently forbidden in most countries, and it's clear why. The footage shows two lit up objects in the sky. They're both moving slightly, with one of them moving a bit faster than the other and in different directions. The lights blink as the unidentified flying device on the bottom moves up towards the one above it. Suddenly, they fuse and it sends a shockwave through the sky, like a bolt of lightning. What in the heck just happened here? <laughs> the uploader stumbled across the freaky forbidden video in the summer of 2018. Some think it's most likely a clip from an indie movie. Redditor the lovely Raven 313 points out, if this actually happened, the media would be on it. Many agree with this sentiment. Well, some are willing to suspend their disbelief when asked what it is. The Redditor admits he doesn't know. That's why I'm posting this to try and solve the mystery, he writes. Can you solve the mystery? I'm at a loss here. A mother records her child happily pressing Play-Doh into different shapes, completely unaware that the toy moves twice on its own. The first time is almost unnoticeable, so watch closely. What are you doing? Play Play-Doh. The second time, however, is much more obvious. I mean, look again and you'll see both of the kid's hands are completely off of the toy when it suddenly somehow moves towards him. This video is one of the few instances where I have absolutely no counterpoint to disprove it, and I can only conclude that what you've witnessed is almost certainly paranormal. Lately, Louise Paxton has been scared out of her mind while staying alone at her house. She says that every night a tall man dressed in all black stands outside of her door without saying a word. Now he's back. <laughs> she goes to call the police, only to find her cell phone has not been charged. At this point, Louise feels enough is enough, blade in hand. The terrified woman unlocks the door and confronts her stalker for a final showdown. <laughs> She swings open the door and finds absolutely nothing on the other side. The wind picks up and howls down a cold, empty alleyway. Judging by this video evidence, it looks as though this person is an incredibly sly stalker. In which case, I'm sure her problems are only just about to begin. I hope she's alright, but it's been a long time since she's posted anything to her channel. It's almost 3 a.m., and Sean Tharp's girlfriend is heading out to work a late night shift. 
Soon she is calling her boyfriend, screaming about a man walking towards her. She claims the stranger was wearing no coat in absolutely freezing cold weather and came straight at her without a word. Sure enough, at approximately 33 seconds into this doorbell cam video, I can see a semi-transparent figure stomping towards her car at a high rate of speed, then it turns around and abruptly disappears. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then watch the street lamp get covered briefly by the person's hollow outline as a reference point. This drone footage was taken somewhere deep in the Salt Fork Park in Ohio. The video starts out ordinarily enough, but then sometime around the 5 minute mark, you might be able to see something hiding in the thickets. Watch the left side of your screen closely as the drone starts to land and pay close attention because it happens pretty fast. Many people claim they can see a large creature stop and look up as the drone passes by. Some even claim that this is a Bigfoot sighting in broad daylight. I do see what they are talking about, but I personally don't see any movement and I think it could possibly be a tree. Let me know if you see it and if you agree. There's not a lot of information available about this video, besides that it was broadcast live somewhere in Albania. Two radio personalities are having a spirited discussion when suddenly they are interrupted by something that neither of them can explain. <laughs> A newspaper flies up on its own in the middle of their conversation, and you don't have to speak the language to see the genuine surprise written all over the man's face as it happens. Still, I would really appreciate it if anyone who speaks Albanian could tell me what was being said, or tell me more about their show if you recognize them. I've watched this video many times and I see no strings attached to the newspaper or anything like that. Obviously, it can't be magnets either. So if it's not magnets or string, then what could it possibly be besides a haunting? What would you do if someone was stalking you? That's a decision YouTuber Near Shadows had to make while on the scariest randonautica of their lives. At this site, they come across a golden box amongst some trees and brush. What is that? No, no way. Uh-uh. It's too cold for all this. Come grab this. I got gloves. What is this? When they lift it, they see it's bound with tape and fishing line. Babe, it's like a weird box that's binded up. I kind of see. It has fishing line on it. It has fishing line Look on it. it. I don't want to oh look at this oh my you guys see that they examine it and discover something shocking whoa what this says 50th anniversary on it 50th anniversary look 50th anniversary not kidding oh wow what does that mean not kidding the art when they open it up this is what they find we're gonna get into this what the heck It's, it's a balloon. It's a balloon that has like 61, 16. Balloons. It sounds like there's rocks it or something. Like there's rocks or pebbles in there, yo. What the heck? With something inside them. Do you feel anything in that one? Yeah. That one doesn't sound, that one sounds empty. There's little pieces of something in it. Let me see. Like, it almost sounds like. It almost feels like bullets or something. It's kind of weird. And this clue? It's a piece of paper. Sixth Street. Sixth Street. It's like a ripped up portion of a map. And it says Sixth Street. Sixth Street. Babe, we're on Sixth Street. When they open the balloon, they uncover a mystery. What is that? It's a little bead, and it has the number two on it. What do these numbers mean? Good close-up. 
pause this and... They then notice some people watching them. Who's this person walking over oh God, here? Are they coming over here? Come on, guys. Some freaking... Please, please don't come over here. Please. Oh. But they realize they're probably not here for them. What was that? I'm not touching it. Could be drugs in this neighborhood. They open up the second balloon. Oh, I'm sure they're beads. These are big beads. That's what she said. Would you? <laughs> oh no! Drop the bead. The letters must mean something too, but what? A Z S. Near Shadows continues to follow this mystery of a missing person's case in their next video. I'm curious as to what these clues mean. I assume the girl who went missing was 16, judging by the balloon, and this is the 50th anniversary since she went missing. But as to the numbers and letters, I guess we'll have to wait for the series' next installment. There seems to be many surprises for new renters or homeowners in these clips. YouTuber Dempsey7 also recently moved into this apartment. He said he rented the place without viewing it because it looked nice and the rent was low, but when he got there, he realized why it was so cheap. There are really high ceilings like a 19th century monastery in the middle of England, he said. He then takes viewers on a tour through the apartment. There are mirrors all over. All of this is nothing compared to what he found just outside the bathroom. Carved into the floorboards, you can clearly see a hatch in the floor, kitted out with a handle. Dempsey7 says he figured it was a bit of underground storage. He lifts the lid up and it does appear to be a storage space, that is until you look beyond the surface and see that the space expands below pretty deeply. Dempsey 7 guides viewers down stone stairs that lead into what he calls a dungeon. There is a corridor heading off ahead, lots of stones and discarded brick and wiring. There is a room to the right, directly below Dempsey 7's apartment. On the wall is graffiti that reads, CCFC OK, judging from the flooring. Dempsey 7 believes it used to be a burial ground. He heads down the corridor. Most of the dungeon is piled with rubbish, dirt, and old brick. He finds a newspaper dating back to 1984. He finds what looks like an old front door. Did someone used to live here? Or perhaps the house was built over an older existing foundation? Whatever the case, a dungeon is one secret room I wouldn't want to find in my new home. The story of Sally in the Wood goes something like this. Located outside Bath and Somerset, there's a road that passes into the woodland of Brown's Folly, which locals refuse to drive down after dark due to the terrifying legend surrounding it. Known by locals as Sally in the Wood, it is said that no birds can be heard chirping through this stretch of the forest as a girl has her life taken there and now haunts the place. Some say they've heard a screaming child in the dark forest, and some have seen a full-bodied apparition of a girl racing into the road at night. The legends are all over the place about Sally in the woods. According to some, Sally was an 18th century gypsy girl who was held captive in a tower where she perished. The website Wiltshire Paranormal claims that this story is entirely fictional and that the name Sally in the Woods more likely came from a battle that occurred at Brown's Folly in 1643. As Sally is slang for scrimmish, this could very well be true. However, the Bathford Society claims that Sally was an actual person, but not the only one who passed away in a tower. This legend claims that Sally was a witch living in a hut in the woods. Local records put Sally's passing at the age of 100, although that wouldn't really explain her appearance as a young girl ghost unless Sally the witch had the ability to appear youthful. Regardless of what you choose to believe, the generational legend of Sally in the Woods lives on, and the resulting fear can be felt throughout this video, published to YouTube by the abandoned prepper in March of 2020, examining various parts of the house up close. 
The abandoned prepper wanders through this haunted place solo. Some parts of the house appear deeply aged, while others recall the more recent past. There's an old piano, a strange lock on the door, and an old photo box in the basement that appears as though they're from another century, but other parts of the home look as though they're from the 60s or 70s. Prepper says that he can hear water running and regularly hears strange noises. Shortly after entering, there is a definite sound of glasses clinking about upstairs while he is downstairs. This is massive. I'm getting a bit scared now. The f Hello? Prepper calls out to alert anyone else exploring the house to his presence. He also said the house has recently become a hotspot for urban explorers. He returns to the first floor and then upstairs to the second. He keeps hearing strange noises throughout. Birds are chirping and the sound of running water. What? Someone's flooded in the basement. He compares the house to Amityville and says it definitely gives him bad vibes. While well, he explores the adjacent house, at one point he enters a room. Notice there's no blue ball here. He heads upstairs and there's a loud sound of something wooden slamming or falling down. When he returns to that same room later, there's a blue ball in the middle of it. The call is coming from inside the house. He also finally discovers where the sound of running water was coming from. The basement of the house is being flooded. There's a hose passing down there, so it looks like it was done intentionally. As he's getting ready to head out of the home, he turns the corner to descend the stairs. That's when you hear the strike of a piano key. Off. Hello? Well, at the same time the hallway light bulb is swinging back and forth, he races down to catch whoever struck the cord, but there's no one. Finally outside, he turns back to look at the dark shell of a house. You can literally feel the creepiness shed away from you. This ghost sighting will send chills down your spine. Published to YouTube by TechWorld TV in August of 2014, this video shows a haunted Hindu cremation site. A man arrives at this site in India to investigate a local story. According to the man, he was walking down this dirt road when he saw an entity at this place. The investigator explains that passed away individuals are taken there for their last rites. Nobody lives here, apart from packs of stray dogs. As the man navigates around the puddles on the wet road to approach the ceremonial sites, dogs start barking like crazy at a distance. In this place. This place. Then the man shouts that he just saw an entity floating from the building further back. Upon closer inspection of the video, you can see the white vapor the man is talking about. It appears in the darkness under the veranda before floating up and then vanishing. Will some point out the vapor moves simultaneously with the camera? One Redditor, Ricky Jaikaran notes, I would have said it was a smudge on the camera if the dogs hadn't started to bark at the same time. What do you think? Coincidence or a spirit ascending? Wanda Chance is riding down the road when she sees a stranger who looks out of place. He is wearing a floor-length black cloak and holds his hands in front of him, possibly making a symbol. Wanda is suspicious of him and they drive by again. I think he looks like he might just be a regular teenager, sporting a gothic clothing style and look, but Wanda notices a long and pointy ear at 1 minutes and 14 seconds and questions if he is really a person at all. What do you think about this sighting? Sure, it's strange, but is this just a person with an uncommon fashion style for the area or a visitor from somewhere far off trying their best to fit in? A real demon sighting is caught on camera according to an uploader named Esoteric Boy, a dark shadow haunting his room. He lightens the photo to reveal a tall mysterious figure with horns. Strangest of all, the alleged demon has a goat-like face and no reflection in the mirror. Considering he has editing software, I think this could possibly be photoshopped. But if not, then it's time never to go into the room again. A CCTV video captures an ill-mannered apparition as it ravages a store just 20 minutes shy of 3am. It slinks across the far wall first, knocking two items off the opposite shelf as it moves down the aisle. 
To be honest though, the way this object on the top shelf gets caught at 13 seconds, looks like it could be pulled by a string. Next, the shadow somehow passes across the aisle without appearing in the glass or the bright reflection on the floor. A minute later, the door to the cooler shakes hard enough to rattle the glass in its pane. Camera 7 shows the outside of the cooler, and Camera 8 shows the inside. Nobody is anywhere nearby, or in the entire store for the matter, and yet the door shakes uncontrollably. I think this could be a real poltergeist, because of one simple fact. This door is airtight to keep the drinks cold, it has no knob to grab onto, and must be opened with a button on the wall. Therefore, I don't think somebody could have made it shake like this, even if they stood on the other side and tried. A YouTuber named Philip DeFranco is busy analyzing the news for his channel when somebody barges into his home office unannounced. Come in. Hi. Oh, are you looking for a... Uh, who are you looking for? Anyone. Anyone? The unseen voice calmly says that they are basically looking for anyone related to the show to talk to. What's that? Oh wait, can you open? Oh, oh I'm, I'm a fan. <laughs> Philip DeFranco handles the situation remarkably well and does not overreact. The fan appears shy and not much of a threat. The fact that he was willing to look up his address and then wander over could mean that he's not all there mentally. Based on what you've seen, tell me if you think this fan was generally curious or up to no good. Maybe he was snooping around for a souvenir to take and got caught. A group of British friends are playing catch in a courtyard. When one of them sees something strange and points it out to the others, the camera follows his gaze and stops on a pale face looking at them from high above. The sickly person looks at them for a second longer before silently slipping out of view. The group is now creeped out and wants to know who has been spying on them this whole time. They tell the property manager about the face they saw in the window, but she says that it's impossible. The room they are talking about has been locked and unoccupied for quite some time. The manager goes up with them to unlock the door and show them around. They try and find the person, but the place is completely empty. There's no way anyone could have been up there, yet the camera obviously says differently. The mysterious peeper has never been identified. When a shadow passes through your security footage, you know you're not alone. Posted by Lily Monique to the Chills Narrator subreddit. Lily shares that her uncle David and her father work for mall security. She writes, This is what my dad and uncle caught on mall security cameras where they work in the middle of the night in the parking lot. The video shows David standing in the middle of the empty lot. He remains there in the light, and no one at all is around. But then a shadow passes close to the camera, completely blocking him from view for a moment. It almost looks as if a figure glided directly in front of the security camera. If I were David, I'd be looking over my shoulder in that parking garage. Just outside your door is very rarely a good thing, especially when they're these two fools. Ring posted this creepy video to Facebook in 2017. The video shows two strange men knocking on the front door of a home. The homeowner away at work is able to check in and see the man, whom she doesn't know. When they notice her security camera, the pair suspiciously bolts away. They return to their vehicle and back out of the drive only to, a minute later, return, open the door, and literally try to kick it in. The homeowner, seeing their arrival from afar, attempts to speak to them over the security system, informing them that the cops are on their way. Cops are on their way. After failing to kick the door in, the men return to their vehicle and hastily drive off again. Facebooker Stay Hodgkin notes that these two people wouldn't have been reprimanded for merely knocking, but then they decided to return when they knew a security camera was posted up and committed property damage. Not bright in the least. Ring relays a very satisfying conclusion to this video, writing, Although Kay was at work when these two visitors came by, she was able to share her Ring video with her neighbors online and ultimately confirm their identities. The information was passed along to the police, and they caught the guys. Now that's the perfect example of a neighborhood watch. Okay, listen to this Buzz Lightyear toy and tell me what you hear wrong. I am Buzz Lightyear. 
It has a deep voice at times, which is strange enough, but the real problem is that his AAA batteries died, people. Ironically, a toy that's based on a movie about toys coming to life appears to have actually come to life itself. The longer he records, the more twisted and deranged the toy becomes. Oh God. The collectible toy belongs to a YouTuber named Joe Bean Videos, and I have little reason to doubt what he says. With that said, Joe Bean Videos doesn't actually show us that the AAA batteries are not working. God. He could have put them in another device to demonstrate that they are drained. Also, I once heard that toys can sometimes hold a small charge even after okay. the batteries have died. Since this video goes on for quite some time, however, I oh. doubt this is what is happening here. Thank you so much for getting me to 40,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Can you help me reach 50,000 subscribers? Thank you.